guys! For today's video, we're going to be doing some wood burning DIYs, and I just picked up these nibs to use with my wood burner, and you can just get them at pretty much any craft store. And I wanted to do some clothespins because I figured that was like one of the easiest wood things to obtain for anybody. And I just wanted to play around with different designs and just kind of making them all look unified while also all being different. And I just really liked this pattern where I just basically did a bunch of lines in different ways and then just made it all kind of come together. The chevron one didn't really work out so well. <laughs> I had a feeling it wouldn't, but the nib I was using just wasn't the right size, but it was like way too hot to try to take off. And then I did a arrow, which was really cute, and then just some lines for simplicity. But I want, do want to give a disclaimer and say please be extremely careful if you try any of these out. I burnt my fingers, I almost burnt stuff around me because the thing would try to roll off the table. And yeah, it was just very difficult to try to make sure I was being 100% safe. So just make sure you know what you're doing if you try any of these. But this is how the clothespins turned out. And then I did some pencils and I should have done just full on wooden pencils because the plastic around the whole thing, first of all, gave a terrible smell to the room because it's like burning plastic. And secondly, it just didn't work as nicely as I would want it to, just like the coloring and just wasn't the best. It got all over the nib and I had to keep wiping it off, which is very hard with a blinding hot wood burner. This thing, like it doesn't even have a temperature gauge, like I just have to like heat it up and then go, I can't even choose how hot I want it, so I have no idea how hot this thing gets, but it's scary hot. And I just played with different line work. I switched out the nibs eventually, uh, but that took a long time for them to cool down. And this is how the pencils turned out. And then we have one of my favorite things that I did was these uh, wooden spoons. And I just picked up a pack of like eight or nine from Meyer, I believe. Yeah, it was Meyer. And I just did different designs, different line work. I thought these were really, really cute. And then I wanted to do three as a set that I thought would be adorable. So I did stir, mix, and taste. And I did like the taste one was a little bit smaller than all of them. And you gotta be very careful doing this because it's very easy to get off of your lines that you wrote out and just like mess up the whole thing but I just took it very slowly and that was the best way to do it was just kind of like do dots and then just kind of go back over and push in harder and hold it longer so it makes it darker but it was it worked really nicely after I got the hang of it and then this one I just did like a cute little floral design and then just some little leaves and that's how these turned out I think these are some of the best ones I did, but my absolute favorite one is this cutting board. I saw something like this on Pinterest, so I wanted to try it out, and I got this uh, bamboo cutting board at Walmart, and then I just picked up this nib, which is first of all my favorite one, and this is the easiest one to do. You just hold it flat for as long as you want. You can make it a little bit darker, you can kind of make it ghostly. And I just went back and forth down the vine like it's leaves and it looks so good like I'm obsessed with looking at this thing it just makes me so happy and yeah it was honestly I think it was the easiest one I did and absolutely my favorite but that is all for this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos I'm gonna go I hope everybody has a great day and I'll talk to you guys later bye